Hi friends, this side Vijay Kumar and you are watching Average Classmate YouTube channel. I'm back with another interesting and informative topic today. As promised that we would be creating dashboard in Power BI. So our end result would be this dashboard. Interactivity is an important element in dashboard. You can see the moment I'm changing these drop downs, the graphs, the map, these graphs are getting changed. So user interactivity is the most important element in dashboard. It allows user to explore the data and gain a deeper understanding of the information which we are presenting. Here are some tips before creating dashboard we always should keep in our mind. The visuals which we are going to use in the dashboard should be easy to understand and provide insights at a glance. Good visuals representations can include charts, graphs and tables that are simple and straightforward. Some example you can see here, these filters, slicers, a good dashboard should always provide actionable insights. These all we are going to see end to end, but in two parts. So in first part, today we are going to see how to connect data source with Power BI then clean the data, manipulate the data as per our requirement and creating some DAX functions to perform our calculation. And DAX are going to perform a major role in our dashboard. In the next video, we would be connecting the dots and create our dashboard. Without further delay, let's roll the intro. All right, friends. So we are in Power BI. Let's quickly connect our source data, get data, Excel workbook, and this data we are going to use. And I hope you know from where I have downloaded this. If you don't, you can check out my previous videos. Link is available in the description below. There I have mentioned the path from which web page I have downloaded this. It is an open source data provided by Microsoft. Within a couple of minutes, the source data will get connected. And now we can import these into Power BI environment. So let's hit the transform data. Here we are in Power Query Editor and we can see the table which is displayed in front of us does not have headers properly. So let's quickly select use first row as header from here. It's done. Let's check people. All right. In this table also, we don't have header properly. Let's ad adjust it also. Okay. Let's quickly see orders table. Okay. Header seems perfect to me. Let's quickly see. Is there any column? Yeah, there is a column postal code. But this column is not required. We don't use this column in our dashboards and rest other columns seems good to me. Now I will select those columns which I would not be using. Row ID, customer ID, customer name and that postal code. So just right click and remove columns. Done. Our data is clean. Now go here, close and apply. Now let it get imported into Power BI environment. Wait for a couple of seconds. I know it is a huge data. We have more than 50,000 rows in order sheet. Perfect. So now data got imported into Power BI environment. Now we can go ahead and start creating text. Text stands for data analysis expression. Means it is a formula language used in Power BI and Power Pivot. Tax really plays a vital role in any dashboards. All right, friends. So let's go ahead and start creating explicit measure first. This measure we would be using throughout the dashboards to show sales number. So to create measure, you can right click here and you can select this option, new measure. Now you can give the name to this measure, total sales. And here I'm going to use some function and column name would be sales bracket close enter. So this is our very first DAX which we have created. It's called explicit measure. However, this explicit measure and this implicit measure will give us the same result if we drag this and if we drag this, but it has more advantages which you will understand with the times. Now the time is to talk about 
the most important functions called time intelligence functions these functions enable users to manipulate the data using time period like year quarter month so very first time intelligence functions we are going to create to show the numbers of year to date means whatever user select from a drop down only till that particular period we need to show sum of sales so let's go ahead again right click on it new measure and give a nice name to this measure let's say ytd sales ytd stands for year to date so whatever we select in that in the drop down which we will create in couple of minutes till that period only i want to show sum of sales so i will write here total ytd in the first argument we we are going to use the explicit measure which we just created total sales comma and the second argument is going to be ship date close bracket enter so our first time intelligence function is ready now so now let's go ahead and check this how this function is working so first of all we will create a drop down let's create a slicer and in this slicer i am going to select ship date and it is showing right now in timeline but i would change the orientation from here i would go in slicer setting and in style i would make it drop down so now we will have a drop down but this is showing me dates and i want to show here year and month only and to do so what i need to do i i will go here go here and from here i will select this date hierarchy option the moment i select this date hierarchy option you can see here i will have year quarter month and days but i don't need these days and quarter i so i will close from here i just need year and month so if you open this now i will only have year and month now let's quickly insert that ytd sales measure here and instead of chart i will change it to card so i can see here right now it is showing me this number but if i go here and only select 2013 so let's see what happened 2.67 million and instead of million let's say if i want to show here 1000 go here go here and from here i will make it thousands so now i have number 2665 let's go ahead and check is it the right number for the period which i have selected in my drop down let's quickly check if i go here and right click on it and copy this table i will take this data set into excel to check the calculation okay now i have pasted the data increase the width of this column i have entire data set here now i will add a sum function here sub total which is going to give me sub total of entire data set perfect and now here i will apply filter and here i will select only 2013 and let me hide these columns not required now i can see this number 26650 and if i go in my power bi report so i can see 26650 so this is how the numbers are matching let's select only two months so jan and feb for 2013 249 let's go here and here also in drop down instead of all i will only select jan and feb and let's see 249 Okay guys so the numbers are matching this way ytd dex is working really fine mostly these type of dex are used in finance sector to calculate year to date month to date quarter to date and so on now let's say here i also want last year number so what i mean i want to compare previous year with current year here comes the second dex same period last year same period last year we would be using inside the calculate function so now let's see how right click here create new measure and let's give a nice name to this measure previous year to date sales here i'm going to use calculate and inside the calculate my first expression is going to be the dex ytd sales which i've just created comma and here i'm going to use same period last year 
and inside this i am going to use ship date dot date bracket close bracket close hit enter our dex is ready now let's quickly drag this and instead of chart let's change it to card now we have this let's show the entire number first we'll go here go here and it will make it none now we have 184128 let's go in our excel file okay so now let's select instead of 2013 let's select 2012 and inside 2012 jan and fab only let's see the number 184128 184128 perfect so numbers are matching fine so by far friends we have used four decks and we have created our calculation ready in next video we would see graphical part but right now we are only looking towards the calculation part now friends if i change let's say if i go here and select this entire year so 2013 so this is showing me 2013 number this is showing me 2012 number entire year because i have selected in my drop down current year and previous year but what if i select 2012 so this is going to show me blank this is what we need to handle now now comes switch function in the picture so switch is you can say in simple words switch is a advanced version of if function switch function test the value of particular column which we are going to pass in it and if the value is true perform an action if false then perform the another action that's what switch function does in another words switch function can be used to evaluate a single expression and return the results of the first expression if the value is true so let's pass here true comma and this entire dex i will wrap inside is blank function so right now i can see is blank will give me true because this value is blank now we need to pass comma the third criteria which is result if the value is true then we want to show not available which means na comma and if value is not true then we want the same function to perform our calculation we'll copy and paste here close bracket and hit enter so now our dex is ready it will going to be changed instead of blank into na let's, let's check if we select any other year it is working perfectly fine we remember the number for jan and feb for 2013 184128 perfectly working okay so this way guys we have seen now five functions all right friends so these are some of the decks which we would be using in our dashboards so that's all for today i'll catch you in the next one umid hai aap logo ko maza aaya hoga agar aapko kuch naya seekhne ko mila hai to video ko like zarur kijiyega share kijiyega unke sath jo career mein growth chahte hain aur mehnat se nahi ghabrate hain aur ha agar ye hamari pehli mulakat hai to niche diye hue subscribe button par जोर से हिट कीजिए आपसे बहुत जल्द मुलाकात होगी विद वन मोर इंटरेस्टिंग एंड इंफॉर्मेटिव वीडियो के साथ टिल देन कीप स्माइलिंग एंड हैप्पी लर्निंग